With this particular weapon combination, we're bringing both the Flash and the Thunder. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering. Today we're playing the Blood Asp Alpha in a ERPPC and Ultra AC5 long range, mid range trader configuration. Hits nice, PPFLD, and is a lot of fun to play. Let's go! Oh, we could go up here. Yeah. Uh, might be a little bit too far out of range, but we'll try it. Should have taken the jump jets. I think that's missing for this build Target's right now. Jump jets. Target's have to find a way to incorporate jump jets. Oh, I actually hit him. Nice. It's getting toasty in here, and I'm getting rushed on. Biggest little guy up there, yeah. Right there. Please don't see me. There's a piranha behind you guys in Fox 4. Mr. Dom, turn around. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, I just called it out, but too late. Now oh, we're getting pushed by all these people. I got the side torso of the guy at least. Ay, ay, ay. Well, now I have to move. Which is bad. New target acquired. Run has one shot though, so that's good. We'll stay up here, I guess. This could work. Hello. Target spotted. Target acquired. New target acquired. Just one shot in the side trussle. New target acquired. They can twist. Meep, 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 meep. We can move closer now. Target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. 
Did I miss him? There we go. Hello there. Hello there. And then there was only one. Oh, there he is. GG. That was a nice match. This time I had a good position and I left at the right time and I was lucky enough that it didn't push me too hard in that Gulf 5 area. It just forgot about me. 5 kills, 1 solo kill, 3 KDDs, 1000 damage done, 400 taken, 9 components destroyed. And what Tedkin's saying is correct, ECM was almost as good as invisibility. What would have been even better is if we had defended that corner a little bit better because then I didn't, wouldn't even have had to move, but since I was the only guy looking into that full push, I just had to readjust my position, right? 6 on a match score, GG. The Timberwolf and a Centurion Delta 4 basement. Wow. That was close. Stone right top side, Charlie 4. Heck, 20s, eh? Oh, okay. He wants to farm. A man wants to farm. Farm or to be farmed? That is the question, my friend. He is destroyed. Get over for him. Rip, good sir. <laughs> yep, that didn't work so well. Target spotted. Yeah, they're heavy in the base. Artillery strike online. Target spotted. Go back to toe fetish, my friends. Guys, let's not peek them one by one in the basement and die to them. I'm gonna move Fox 5 so I don't cover from there. Yeah, I'll start yelling like a girl when I see them come out. Good. Mm, just that broken mix here. Goodbye. So should we be over here, I wonder? Oh, I have a better idea. Maybe here? Does this help? Does this work? Is this high enough? Ah, uh, not really. Good for seeing, but not so good for fighting. Enemy Delta 5. Target spotted. Enemy UAV spotted. Let them. I'm in position. Yep. I'm just backing off. This yep. Order. Okay, I'm looking at Echo 4, Echo 5 now as well, a little bit as the Echo 6 side. Another UV up? Yeah, I can. Did you get 
Come. Yeah, they really want to push out that side. This is good cover here, actually. I'm gonna stay here. Movement towards Echo Four. Ah, we're back to wobbling around now and stuff. Careful. New target. Target spotted. New target acquired. Some movement towards Echo 4, Echo 5. Echo 4, Fafnir, Echo 5, Side Huddle Model Chi, and a Raven. Plus, unknown. That's of course, there down low. Also, now Echo 5 side. Fafnir is the Echo 4 side. Be nosy. There's nothing else to do with holes because if we try to push in here, we just get destroyed. Target spotted. Need to just drop behind the cover. Make it six side. Hmm. One more hit Finally. Just fall back. He went out and fought. I don't guess it's still sitting in the basement. I guess it's a viable strategy, I don't, don't mind it, it's just... 
I respect that he got bored. Oh man, got bored and died. Maybe we should just go down and poke a little bit. I don't know. You know that we're on that side now, right? So, what happens if we go here? Is there in the corner side, so you can't go in. As soon as you go in, you get shot. Target is that the Fafnir? That might have been the Fafnir actually. Are they pushing out over there? Nothing to see so far. The only thing I could do is go closer to the entrance and start shooting, but. New target acquired. Are they coming out of the five side? I don't think so yet. I'm just going over there trying to get another angle, see if we can get them out of I'm that. I'm going to move closer and start engaging. I'm getting bored. I mean, Anybody got, has a UAV left, pop it in the center of the map. We will have no backup here, so we've got to be very careful. I also have seismic. And I think maybe Delta 4, Delta 5 entrance might be the best one to drop on them. Unless there's other options. New target acquired. I'm gonna fall back now. This is the Fafnir could push me now. He's definitely there. New target acquired. It's also almost fresh. Chasing me now, Echo 5 side. Fafnir had a lot of chi, both damaged, but Fafnir is still relatively fresh. I'm alone down here. Yeah. Oh, they went back in, okay. Weird. From here, <laughs> why are they still in the basement? They should be coming out now and engaging, right? Stay. Left torso critical damage. Oh. 
<laughs> I am invisible. <laughs> oh, um, that was a weird match. Two kills, two solo kills, two KDs, 1200 damage done, four components, three UV kills. That was an interesting long match. 659 match score. Enemy team played it correctly, they just waited in the basement. TG. Uh, sorry, sir, I hit you. What? I can't shoot through that apparently. <laughs> that locust just ate it. <laughs> uh, echo six low. Yeah, echo five, echo six low. Got a stalker and an annihilator over on Delta Four side. But stay Delta Six Delta Five. There's a stalker basement now. What is this guy doing over there? Oh, just a shot in the back. Hey, hey, hey. In my arm alone. As we're getting swarmed on the left flank. Ah, uh, we're actually behind, even though... Because we need reinforcements on the left flank, the side fast. Uh, can I help him? Can I move far enough so... Oh, holy hell. I love how calm we are Debus as he's getting squirreled down by like five people. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll be next by the way. Like y'all got advantage of wherever you're at. Just murder ball it and push it. <laughs> I am running. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed. Come on, shoot! Anything! Oh, come on, really? Wow. I shot through him. I shot through him. Rip. <laughs> oh, man. I think if I didn't take that back shot earlier, I would have taken down at least one of the scale shots. Ah, almost. 
Mm, I think we could have won this if people didn't scroll away. Yep. That's alright. GG. GG, guys. <laughs> 800. Oh, nice playing with your mate. See you later. Those were some nice matches. Here is the build on screen, guys. As you can see, we're running the Blood Asp Alpha Center Torso for the ECM in the CT as well as the Jump Jet. We have to use the Ballast Delta right torso for the triple Ultra AC5s that we're putting into him, and we're using the Ballast Echo left torso for the double ERPPC, plus extra heat sinks and ammo storage. I'm shaving both the arms, a little bit of the head, and quite a bit of the legs to get another double heat sink and another ton of UAC5 ammo in here. Of course, you could forgo the heat sink or forgo half a ton of UAC5 ammo just to armor up a little bit more. It's absolutely just up to you guys. I will not give you any recommendations there. Just Adapt the mech how it works best for you. On the Crooks side of things, well, we're not getting anything really here. We're getting a little bit extra armor on the torsos as well as the uh, left arm from the Omnipods. And that is it. Everything else doesn't really work for us. So this is as straightforward as it gets. How do we play this mech? Well, we have high mounts, guys. This is an amazing uh, peeker over hills uh, or over terrain. Walk up to your target. At ranges up to, let's see, UAC 5 is going to be the limiting factor here. 730 meters is optimal range, but literally you can shoot this at like 1000, 1200 even, no problem. So walk up to where you can shoot your targets and then just shoot them. You do an alpha strike, both weapon groups together, and then you double tap, of course, your ultra AC 5 array for maximum damage. If you do that, you do 35 damage plus another 15 from the double tap. So if you don't jam, that is 50 damage into target. Pinpoint at relatively high range, and that is really, really nice to have. Feels good, and of course the ECM keeps you safe. If you see UAVs in the distance, you've got two APPCs, so you know what to do. Uh, you can try and maneuver a little bit on your own because you have ECM and because you're fairly stealthy with the Blood Asp, but um, do so with caution. Of course, the best place to be is with one or two teammates, so you can't get easily rushed down. Try this mech, guys. Let me know how it goes for you. I think Blood Asps are amongst my favorite clan mechs for sure. There's only one thing left to do and that is to say thank you so much to all my beautiful supporters guys. I couldn't do this without you. And if you right there are not a supporter yet and would like to help out and say thanks for the videos, please check out the video description that will lead you to my merch store, to my Patreon, or of course you can become a channel member or send us more thanks right here on YouTube. Thank you very much for your support guys.